Rivers crisis. My opponents are defeated. Fubara. An education Nigerian student loan application opens May 24. Federal government. I am Bola Oba and this is Plus Politics. The River State Governor, Siminalai Fubara, declared on Thursday that his battles were over as he had defeated his opponents who are not sleeping with their two eyes open. He said he had turned the tide against his opponents, noting that he was still in office about to mark his first anniversary, contrary to the plan by his detractors. Fubara spoke on Thursday amid the uh, ranging feud between him and his predecessor and estranged political godfather, Yeson Wiki. Last October, Fubara survived an impeachment plot by members of the River State House of Assembly loyal to Wiki. As of Wednesday, now members, nine members of his cabinet loyal to Wiki attended their resignation and exited. Addressing the national and state leadership of the Joy Youth Council on Thursday at the Government House in Port Harcourt, Fubara said he appreciated their support and the assurance that they were with him, but said there is nothing to call on you for because we have already defeated them. Take a listen. I'm advising those people who call themselves local government chairman. You have a few days in office. Please conduct yourself. Politics will come, politics will go. We will still live our lives. Let anybody not deceive you. If you deliberately hurt anybody in the course of maybe expressing your useless support, Nobody will forgive you. You will pay for it. So I'm begging everyone, please conduct yourself. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that is most hit, abused. Mumu governor, we don't know what to do with power, is it not? Have I said anything? And so please, just endure. Until when you finish, you go your way. I don't want any trouble. I don't want anything that will bring any problem in this state. I know what they want to do, but we will not give them the opportunity. We have made our promise to our leader, who happens to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that we will take the part of peace. And that is the part we are taking. Joining us is River State APC Publicity Secretary, Chibui K. Ikenga, the publisher of Christiana Reports, Godswill Jumbo is also with us, and River State and APC spokesperson Darlene Tingwaju. Gentlemen, welcome to Plus Politics. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, Mr. Jumbo. Mr. Jumbo. Uh, how would you want to start? Okay, in the interim, let's start with Mr. Ikenga then. Uh, Mr. Ikenga, how would you want to start? Okay, thank you, Mr. Bora Oba. I feel very sad, uh, oftentimes, when I'm invited to discuss the deepening crisis in River State. I feel so because we are not the only state in, River, in Nigeria. River State is just one out of 36 plus uh, the FCT. Now, what other states are discussing is governance, development, accountability, transparency, and fighting so hard, assiduously, to leave their people out of poverty to make their people live 
in a more comfortable environment, provide security for the people, as well as provide the enabling environment for jobs to be created and employment consequently. So, unfortunately, like you just said, play the clip of the governor. These are the issues. I did say severally that the governor is not talking like a statesman. The governor is the governor of both of the governor of both those who oppose or those who support him. And to say that he has defeated his opponents, I can tell you that who are his opponents? He is the governor of River State. People can disagree with him, does not make them his enemies. The way the governor is talking is a sad reality. And we wish that uh, he would change from that and become the statesman that a governor ought to be. Unfortunately, he has created ethnocentric ideas of they versus we. And that's an unfortunate and sad development in our state. We have veered off from governance. We have entered politics. When he says, again, that he has defeated his opponents, elections came over a year ago. And we should be talking about development now and not defeating and not defeating opponents. By the way, who are his opponents? He's a member of the PDP and he's having internal crisis in his party. So if he has disagreed with his party members, that's, they are not his uh, enemies that he, he needs to defeat. He's just said, uh, he could describe it as a storm in a teacup. And then if it is about his disagreement with River State House Assembly, you know, these things are constitutional issues that the courts will have to take their position before anybody begins to act. So taking laws into his hands and beginning to act dictatorially is most unfortunate, Bola. Okay, let me go to Mr. Jumbo. Mr. Jumbo, how would you want to start? So, uh, first of all, isn't it quite interesting that the people that were heckling, harassing the governor, and now the ones crying for talking about governance, talking about peace, talking about constitutionality, talking about how the governor is supposed to conduct himself, as a statement and all of that. But it was still in these states that people who belong to this camp were calling a sitting governor, Mumu, in public. They were calling him a Mumu governor. They were saying he could not win a unit, a ward. They were saying all kind of things. Now, they are the ones saying the governor is supposed to have a candle, a carriage. He should speak with class, all of that. But we want the governor to carry himself with dignity. We don't want uh, the shenanigans of misguided elements, you know, in the states to drag him into the gutter. We want him to make a clear departure from the eight years we have lost in governance in river states. We want him to come as the intellectual as a technocrat, as a professional, as the statement that he is. We want less of that combative rhetoric. We want less of it. So for those of us who want the good of River State, we are already on that. I was telling the governor to scale down on that. He doesn't need to jump into the gutter with them. He doesn't need that. The people of River State, you can see them in their large numbers coming out to celebrate with him, to meet him wherever they can find him, whether at government house, whether at project flag of uh, venues, whether at commissioning, wherever the governor goes, the people of River State, they come out in their large numbers. And I think that's that's fine. That's what it should be. Okay. So we want him to I, focus. I'll come back to you. Continue I'll what he's doing you, already. Uh, and let these other people keep crying. We are not bothered. We will buy handkerchief for them. Okay, uh, uh, is is the coincidence of your name, Jumbo, in any way, shape, or form, uh, a coincidence, or you are related to the new to the new speaker of the of the newly created uh, House of Assembly? Of course, the the Jumbo Major House of Ancient Grand Bonnie Kingdom is an egalitarian house. It's a historically 
you know, noble house that has provide, provided Nigeria with very great imputes of leadership. The names roll out. So one of us, uh, incidentally, my younger brother, imagine as a speaker of the River State House of Assembly, is in keeping with the trend of what Jumbo okay, House so is capable you are, of. You are, you are related. You are, yes, you are related. Are related. Okay, thank yes. you very much. Okay, let's go to uh, Wanju. Uh, Wanju, um, le let's get a bit of your philosophical touch as your kickoff start today. Yes. Good evening, Mr. Abba. I can, can hear you. Hear me? We can hear you well enough. Okay. Okay, good evening. Um, well, I've listened to the other uh, uh, resource persons on this uh, platform. And I want to quickly say that, um, uh, well, uh, let me measure, let me dish out some uh, measure of uh, sarcasm by accusing of trying to sit in judgment over his father. <laughs> so he's sitting in. However, I think, seriously speaking, must have to watch his tone in terms of the rhetoric he dishes out there. And uh, I would agree completely with uh, Mr. GBK Kenga that uh, we must go the path. I think we are having some challenges with uh, Mr. Mwanju's, uh, Mwanju's line. Uh, maybe, Mr. Mwanju, you want to just keep it audio. Uh, I guess... Uh, of of uh, constitutionalism, the rule of law. Because that any nation accusing to rule of law will fall into subscribe to a state of lawlessness. and very strategic political relevance of the state. So that's my, my, my take. Okay, Mr. Wanju, we may, we may have to resort to you just calling in. Uh, uh, your line is a bit, uh, is a bit strained. Uh, Chief Ikenga. Okay, it's raining. It's, it's raining over here. It's raining over okay, here. So it could, it I'll could, be having a bit of network challenges. Okay, it could it could be there's a bit of redundancy and uh, this thing. Uh, but uh, let me go to uh, Mr. Kenga now. Mr. Kenga, as you must have heard from uh, from Mr. Jumbo, uh, this is real politic, and the nature of real politic is that uh, the finesse of constitutionalism is thrown into the wind. Uh, the person who has the, uh, the who has the um, wherewithal to muzzle the other side that is not with him will use it and uh, who cares? And now suddenly, mm. like Riley said, at least a couple of a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, some of some of the people in your camp were speaking condescendingly of the governor, were mocking him. And uh, it was obvious that he was uh, surrounded, so much surrounded by, by frenemies. I, I even once said on this show that he was walking constitutionally naked. Uh, but at this juncture, it does seem that uh, he is articulating uh, is articulating a, a force that is at least making your side, the APC and your new intake, your, your new members, who are members of the proclaimed House of Assembly, making you guys uncomfortable. How would you want to re respond to that? Okay, quickly, I'd like to um, talk to the young man. He was berating those whom he described as um, insulting the governor or being personal with um, comments like Mumu governor unfit to be a counselor and all that. As a person and as a party, we do not we do not subscribe to gutter languages in describing those who hold exalted offices. The same thing 
I mentioned that they have created a wall between we and they, us and we, we and they. Those are divisive rhetorics. You will also recall that the young man who spoke last, the Jumbo himself, will agree with me that when he said that people on the other side, people who belong to your group, that that is appalling to begin to divide river states. You will recall also that those who support the governor as he does go on air to malign the immediate past governor, to malign the leaders. And that is what we are against. And the governor is aware of all this and has not taken any step to stopping them from further creating crisis and dividing the state. Like I did say, everything we pursue as a party, the APC, is on grounds of constitutionality. We obey the rule of law, we respect it, we state clearly, we do not it, other than the one led by on right of Martins Amehule. And uh, having defected to a political a new political party from the party the, 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 the got the a mandate from are you on sir? We are Hello? On. We are on. Go ahead please. Are you on? We are yes. on. Can having, you hear me? Having moved from, yeah. Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Bola. Having moved from the PDP, where they originally got their mandates, to the APC, and by that, the Constitution made provisions that they will vacate their seats <laughs> only, if, only if there are confirmation that there are no divisions in their party that could make it impossible for them to operate. But in this case, the House of Assembly members have clearly stated that they became very uncomfortable by okay. the who uh, support them and those who oppose them disagree. The executive and the legislature disagree. Uh, Where did the matter be settled? It to be settled in, in the, by the judiciary who will interpret the relevant sections of the Constitution and wait until the decision is made before uh, but, further actions. But, but in this case, but, but, the uh, governor and his team Ikenga. have I, gone ahead Ikenga. to proclaim another House Assembly, which is clearly unconstitutional and we do not recognize them. Uh, Ikenga, just like yes. the governor and his uh, supporters have the proclaimed assembly to to live by to their irritation uh, it is a fact of the circumstance as we speak that the other side too your side uh, have you know us to live with the fact that there is a parallel as of assembly uh, that is taking its life from a judicial pronouncement which at some point may have been may have been rested because Edison a year resigned to go assume the the office of the chief of staff and that house practically went to bed but it's been resuscitated now that is real politic it, it smacks constitution in the constitutionalism in the face but you see as it is now until the court of competent jurisdiction pronounces that house is the one known to the executive arm of government in River State. But let me go to, I'll come back to you. Uh, Mr. Jumbo, uh, it's gloating time now, I guess, gloating time for those of you who are supporters of, uh, of the governor. And, you know, like uh, your two colleagues have stated, to, to you know, like they will say, to H-E-L-L. -L with constitutionalism you guys don't care the governor is, is still uh is still the chief executive officer of the state uh the the legislature may may be may be put in a circumstance now where uh, the constitutional order is is practically you know as cans 
uh, and the uh, judicial pronouncements have become uh, one a penny in rivers, but somebody like you, Jumbo, uh, you are happy. More so when, as you've said, your younger brother is the beneficiary of the ultra-constitutional conduct of, of the governor. Why not? Life goes on. And you guys are happy. How would you want to respond to that, Jumbo? I, 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 think, I think you're creating a narrative that is of, of what is the reality. The reality is, regardless of what is your perspective, regardless of whatever is your political uh, leaning, regardless of your sentiments, the law says in the constitution, the ground norm of Nigeria, in section 109, subsections 1 down to 3, especially 1G, that when you leave the party that sponsored you to office, that you lose the seat. And the makers of the constitution are very clear that it, that section of the constitution is self-activated. It even goes further to even say even the speaker loses his position once he ceases to be a member of the House of Assembly. How does he cease to be a member of the House of Assembly? One of the ways is to defend from the party that sponsored him to office. If you're a lover of constitutionalism, if you're a lover of river state, we are not supporters of the governor. We are supporters of constitutionality. We are, constitu we are supporters of the rule of law. We are supporters of a, a, a society governed by laws. So if we lean towards the side of the governor, it is not because of sin. It is because of river states. It is because of Nigeria. It is because of the laws that govern Nigeria. The laws that make Nigeria not to be a banana republic. That is where we tilt to. That is what, where we stand. So for those who align with the constitution, this is what the constitution has provided for. Those lawmakers, those former lawmakers, Martin Samewule and Co., they know what the provisions of that section of the constitution says. At the material time when they defected, December 11, 2023, there was no division in any unit in any ward, in any uh, state of the PDP, even at the national level, there was no division anywhere, no crisis, maybe a few disagreements between one or two individuals. But as an institution, PDP did not have any crisis, any division that would warrant anybody defecting from the party. This is something that is, you know, there for everybody to see. So they willingly, it is self-inflicted -in injury they have caused themselves. Nobody, nobody needs to be blamed for that. Nobody needs to be blackmailed emotionally for that. That is the position of the law. Okay. Then go okay. back to uh, the, uh, you, uh, the governor Jumbo. has maintained his cell. He has Jumbo. maintained focus. It is governance and nothing else. He has not interfered with the House of Assembly. Take note. Whether it was uh, Martins or Mr. Mr. City, or it was ADC, AHA City, or Mr. Victor uh, Okojombo City, Jumbo. the governor never interfered. He allowed them to carry out hello, their legislative Jumbo. duties. Hello, hello, and Jumbo. he has also hello, focused Jumbo. on governance. Hello, so that is where we hello, stand. Jumbo. Hello, Jumbo. Yes. Uh, I can see that you are playing well enough the role of the judiciary. You are interpreting the constitution. To the best of my understanding, there is an arm of government that is laden with the responsibility of interpreting the constitution. But you see, uh, like I said earlier on, uh, why not gloat? Because come to think of it, like you rightly stated earlier on, uh, there have been times when the, the principal figure of your predisposition now was being mocked as a, as a Mumu governor by some. Maybe not the kingers of this world, but some openly mocked him. So uh, let me let me wrap up now with Darlington Waju. Darlington Waju, uh, we can go on forever. One side uh, wanting to wanting to uh, play the moral high ground, 
but we know that all the sites now seemingly are swimming in muddy waters and morally, constitutionally, and otherwise. Darling, to what you are, do you want to wrap it up? Is Darling, to what you there? Okay, gentlemen, uh, about time we rested this segment of the show. We will be coming back with another topic for the day. Uh, we want to say thank you to you gentlemen. See you some other time. And we'll go on a short break. When we're back, we'll take on the second segment of the show. <laughs> 